Hey everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Dilo and I'm back with another video. In this one, I'll be covering a possible third person mechanic hinted at in Battlefield 2042 based on the things I've seen in the recent trailer. My last video covering a possible third person camera in Cyberpunk did really well, so I realized I gotta do what every other YouTuber would. I'm milking this motherfucker until something else works. So get comfy and join me on my in-depth analysis at a third person camera mechanic that is hinted at throughout the trailer. It starts with a kick-ass drop off the helipad and follows a dude with a glider, but if you look super close at his helmet, we see what looks like a HUD element, almost like there's another monitor that the character is looking at. Could it be a logical explanation of a third person camera? Perhaps. Next we have the robot dog, that obviously can be used as a turret, but you know what else it could be? You guessed it, a third person camera. Coincidence that it's the second thing shown? Continuing on of course, we then have the tanks, which every person who's played Battlefield knows that tanks get what? You guessed it, third person cameras. We are then immediately taken to a new scene where we're shown a night operation, which of course explains the goggles on this guy's head, but then you take a second look. There are lights on. Why would someone need night vision goggles with the lights on you might ask? They don't. They're clearly being used as a lens for a third person camera. Next scene, we're in the ice map, and what do you know, we're shown vehicles again. Why? To confirm a third person camera perhaps? Ha! Wrong! That's exactly what the developers wanted you to think. If you take a closer look, you can see penguins. What do penguins mean? Surely they're just the natural animal of the local area, right? Wrong! Penguins are a reference to Super Mario 64, where you can throw penguins off the map. What was Super Mario 64? A third person game. Think YouTube viewer, think! Next we're shown a rocket. Why are we shown a rocket? To display the giant cock of superiority that is a third person camera game. We are then shown hell, literal hell. The sky is red, fire everywhere, but why? Maybe it's a new map. Maybe it wants to show off aerial combat. Wrong. If you look closely, how many aerial vehicles are there? Three. Three. Because if you don't go third person, you end up in hell. Hence, all the soldiers dying by a single helicopter. First person kills. You live by the first person, you die by the first person. You might now be thinking, but hey, we only see two jets. One on one, what's that about? The unorthodox meaning of jumping out of a jet and defying all goddamn laws of physics proves that a law defying third person camera is ultimately the way to play. The last scene is truly where the developers drive home the point. What do you see as the tornado gets closer and closer? A three man car trying to escape this unrelenting force of nature progressing forward and with nothing stopping it. Can't you see? It's all an analogy. You can't escape the third person. The three people can't escape. In fact, only one does. The same guy from the beginning with a third person camera HUD element right on his helmet. And that, ladies and gentlemen, just goes to show how good DICE is at subtly hinting at a third person camera mechanic in Battlefield 2042. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.